Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dynamic Duos here, and um, I know I promised uh, you guys in the live stream that these videos would be up uh, after the live stream actually happened, as I need to get rid of these. Um, but me being my normal self, I went and just sat around and did nothing because, you know, when you don't have to do anything, you don't really want to. And I could have made the videos, but I just decided to make them today. So this is the first one for today. This is going to be episode four of my Orioles franchise. And um, we're nine games back. We're 21 and 24. And partially that's due to our pitching rotation as we'll take a look at it. Neftali Feliz has had an okay season. Um, Jason Hamill's had a really bad season so far. Jake Arrieta and Zach Britton have really been the bright spots of the rotation. And then Chris Tillman has kind of been in the same boat as Neftali Feliz. Um, and I'm actually thinking about moving Hamill out of the rotation in for Ben Sheets just for... Maybe a couple of starts, see how Ben Sheets handles himself. And uh, the rest of the bullpen's done okay, except for J.C. Romero. And uh, Jim Johnson's really struggled also, so I'm not sure what, what we're going to do about that. And then in the lineup, uh, Markakis has struggled. Jones is, Adam Jones has been pretty good. Mark Reynolds has struggled average-wise like he normally does. I've been looking for a replacement at third base, and we may make a trade uh, to get him out of here to possibly pick up a new DH, not third base because I have Mike Holt, but a new DH. Uh, J.J. Hardy's done good, and Manny Machado also has done pretty well in his uh, limited starting time. Brandon Belt's been decent, Weeders has been decent, Mike Holt's been pretty good, surprisingly. He's been one of the better hitters in the lineup, and then Ryan Holt's also been struggling a little bit. So I may be looking to upgrade at left field, and then uh, the bench has been eh. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sim through uh, the, these couple of days and get to the draft. And uh, I haven't been playing MLB a lot. I've been playing a lot of Madden um, lately, you know, because it's a new game. It's my new game. Normally when I get a, a game, um, you know, I play it for five or four or five days straight. Just, you know, not like literally straight, but you get what I mean. You know, playing nothing but it whenever I play. So whenever I've been playing PlayStation, I've been playing Madden, so... That's one reason why there haven't hasn't been an abundance of MLB videos like I normally do. And actually, right after this, I'm going to do a, a Madden video that I hope you guys agree with my decision. I'm not sure, um, but I also ask you guys something in that video, which I haven't quite done yet. So I can't really say that I, I ask you it already because I haven't said it or recorded it, but I just completely confused myself there. But... There we took that uh, B potential catcher, and I I just I suck at scouting. For some reason, I always tend to scout the the players that aren't going to be in the draft like every season, and I don't get it. So since none of my scouted guys are in there, we're just gonna simulate and sign some draft picks. So this was a B guy, D great, C and D. So we'll sign we'll sign all of these guys because I don't see the point in not signing them. I wish I could check how much money I have left, but uh, let's check the, not the free agents, the trade block. I do want to upgrade this. Um, I don't think we need any more help at DH. I obviously keep want to keep looking for a new left fielder. Second base has become my new um, position, kind of, that I could use a new per a new player at, but Brian Roberts has been doing okay this year to where we don't really need him. And uh, we could be looking for a new closing pitcher. And I'm actually going to put Jim Johnson out on the trade block. I'm going to take Britton off. Uh, so let's start at the top. I want to keep Reynolds out there. I want to keep Johnson out there. I want to keep Ryan Roberts just to see what we can get. How about Jason Hamill? And um, some of these starters. Because I have a lot that I don't really need. And J.J. Hardy too. Let's see what we can get for him. Uh, and all that looks fine. So what we're going to do here is just, you know, start simulating and I'll kind of explain on what I'm going to be doing the next couple of days. So I've been home alone with my little brother for the past uh, day now, but it feels like a long time, but it's nice just being able to do whatever you want and not really have anybody telling you what to do. And um, I've just, I just now, this is the first time I've played PlayStation since the live stream and I've only, I, you know, normally I would have been you know, playing the thing, like, all the time, but I've been playing Pokemon on my laptop, I know that kind of sounds weird, and you're kind of like, oh, wow, what a little kid, you you like Pokemon, blah, blah, but whatever, I, I played it when I was a kid, and I'm still a kid, but I still play it, so, 
Dodgers are interested in trade. Brian Roberts for Alfredo Silvario. They have a good team. Holy balls. Be potential center fielder. Uh, but I don't really have anybody that I'd want to call up to play second base until I could find a new one. And I don't see the point in trading Brian Roberts for a center fielder when I, that I don't really need. So I'm just going to not answer that. I want to just I want to see who's in the All-Star game for us. Oh, Tigers interested in trade. Brian Roberts for another center fielder that I don't need. Unless this guy's A potential, I'm not taking him. B, no thanks. Cuz if I'm going to trade Brian Roberts, I'm going to at least get a, a second baseman for him. Okay, here's a big trade. JJ Hardy and Jim Johnson for John Neese, Fatino De Los Santos, De Los Santos, and Matt Gamble. So John Neese is locked dang 5 years. This De Los Santos guy, B potential, got decent velocity, got decent overall, and Matt Gamel for J.J. Hardy and Jim Johnson. Is J.J. Hardy in his last year? No, he's not. Um, really, this isn't. I know I am asking for a first baseman, but I honestly don't need one anymore because I have Brandon Belt. If I did pick up Matt Gamble, I would most likely use him at DH if I did use him at all. Uh, I don't really need any starters, and I could use this guy in the bullpen. Um, but I'm just going to turn it down because I don't, I don't see the point in making a trade that's not going to help me out. And I'd, I'd basically just be giving away players to get rid of salary just and take on players that I didn't really need. So... Uh, I doubt any of our pitchers are here because we don't have any decent pitchers this year. I'm going to start making some call-ups. Oh, Matt Weeders looks like our lone representative. Oh, Mike Trout made it. What's his What's his numbers like? 309? Dang. Um, I'm actually going to take a look here at the starting. The couple of guys down in AAA. Mark Appel is doing eh, pretty good, I guess, compared to our starters now. Dylan Bundy's doing well. Steve Johnson, holy cow. 12 and 2 with a 2.4 ADRA. It's pretty good. Um Zach Britton's 10 and 2, but a 4.07 ERA. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to send down Jason Hamill, who's really declined. He was our second guy on the overall list. I'm going to send him down to AAA. Yeah, he goes on waivers. I don't care. And I'm going to actually move up Steve Johnson um, and put him in the bullpen right away just as a long reliever, and he could eventually work his way into the rotation if we uh, make a trade. So we won the All-Star game. That's good. Or our division. I didn't play it, but... Jason Hammerl cleared waivers, exactly. Brian Roberts for Alfredo Severo and Ivan DeJesus Jr., who is a B potential, but he is hitting 205 this year for the Dodgers, for that same center fielder. Um, nah, Brian Roberts' production overmatches this guy, even though Brian Roberts is in his final year of his contract, but I still am going to look to move him, maybe, if I get a good enough deal. Because I don't, one, I don't know if he's going to play next year because you never know when these guys will pop up and retire. So we're in last place right now. Oh, never mind. We just jumped up to third. Cardinals are interested in a trade. Jim Johnson and Brian Roberts for Colton Wong, CJ McElroy, and John Gass. Never heard of any of them. John Gass to be potential starter. Colton Wong, B potential second baseman. This looks like a good deal, at least I think. And then CJ McElroy is a B potential center fielder. Either somebody they just drafted or let drafted last year. Hmm. This guy's at what, double A? Or no, triple A. Hitting 311. 15 stolen bases. 
could move this guy up right now and just throw him in the starting lineup. And see how he goes. Or see how he does. What? How old is he? 22. And then the, these other two guys would just kind of be just add-ons. This would be a nice starter to pick up. Although I wish I could get Shelby Miller, but I doubt they'd be willing to trade for him. But the key thing is who am I going to put at closer when I trade away Jim Johnson? Because I don't have anyone in here that I would trust being my closer. Except for maybe Lindstrom. Let me see if they have anybody that I would like to pick up. Fernando Salas. Alright, I'm going to rework this trade real quick. Um, it was it was Jim Johnson and who else was it? I forgot. Was it Brian Roberts? I'm kind of... I told y'all I have kind of like a bad memory. Yeah, Brian Roberts. I don't know why, but it's short-term memory loss sometimes. I, I just don't know. Uh, Cardinals, right? Now, uh, it was Colton Wong. They would just do this trade. Can I get... For, yeah, I can get Fernando Salas. What about Shelby Miller? Can I get him? I can get Shelby Miller. And he's A potential, right? And this John Gast is a B guy. Um, so I think I'm going to do this trade right here. Because I can, I can use Fernando Salas at closer. They did uh, in 2011. As you see there, he had 24 saves. So I'm going to do this trade right here. I think this will benefit us pretty well. I'm not too sure about the second baseman, guys, but, you know. It should work out. So they didn't call up... Uh, Let's go ahead and edit him and make him a closer. And then call him up to the majors. And Shelby Miller is on our team. Or at the major leagues. Um, but. Let's send Wei Yin Chen down. And keep Shelby Miller up here. Along with Steve Johnson who I don't think has pitched very much. So there goes Salas, put him in there. And then we need to put Colton Wong at second or yeah, second base leadoff spot. And let's continue simulating. We'll go ahead and simulate through the trade deadline cuz well actually we'll do a day before just in case. Tigers interested in offering you a trade. Luis Ayala and J.J. Hardy for Daniel Fields, Yasiel Puet, it was something, and Zachary something. This catcher is a B potential, and then two center fielders, B and B. Um, but I don't think Machado is quite ready to start on an everyday basis. Maybe he is. Um, but we don't really need any outfield. The only outfield position I, I would look to upgrade right now is left or right. Because Adam Jones is not going anywhere. And these guys would just kind of be trade pieces. Uh, if I do this trade, I'm giving up J.J. Hardy. Who I do have signed through another year. But it, then again, if I do if I do this trade, then I open the door for Machado on an everyday basis, uh, and I pick up some decent prospects that I could use in trades right now to pick up some bullpen help because I really need some bullpen help. Ayala's been a pretty decent reliever, but still, yeah, I think I'm gonna accept it, and then I'm gonna take the two center fielders that I just got because I don't need them. I really don't. And look for some bullpen help because I saw somebody note or put in a comment saying use some players or starters that you don't need for bullpen help. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to at least get three relievers that I really need. And what what do we have? We have a righty. He's not even on. They're not even on the team. Right, left, not on the team. Our bullpen basically consists of. Darren O'Day, Lindstrom, Romero, Salas, and then two long relievers. So let's look for some Manny Del Carmen. I've heard of him. He used to be good. 
Oh, and someone asked me um, on a comment on the last video that I did with this, asking me how I got um, music into my game. I'm pretty sure there's uh, video tutorials on how to get music in your game. I just followed a tutorial. Jordan Walden, he's pretty good. Can I get anyone else out of this? No, they don't have any good. Ooh, Aaron Crow. Yeah, but the thing with trading with the A's is they never want to give up any, uh, they never want to take on any salary. That's what sucks about trying to trade with them. Oh, J. Uh, George Sherrill. I hated him when he was with the Braves, and I don't like him much now. Ooh, if I could get Mike Adams, that would be awesome. Ooh, Jeremy Affel and Koji Uhara. Affel would give me another lefty. Ooh, or Joel Zumaya. Can I get this? Ooh, I can. What about Demont? No, not Marte. What about Dotel? Oh, man. If I got this, my bullpen is set. I think I'm going to do this. This looks like a good deal. All these guys are at least locked up for this year and next year, but then Dotel and Affelt for the year after. I think I, I think I'm gonna do this trade right here. I'm gonna offer it and see if we get it. I think we do. We and Chin has cleared waivers. Yes, alright, we got three really good relievers from the Rangers right there. That was a good trade, I think. I hope you guys thought so. Uh, so... I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to put Shelby Miller and Jason Hamill in AAA. And I'm going to leave Steve Johnson up here. Just because we have a lot of pitchers on our roster right now. And I'm really liking this bullpen right now. I think it's a good bullpen right now with the additions we just made. So let's go ahead and simulate through the... Um, Trade deadline. Oh, wait. I remember it saying we had invalid lineups. Why is that? Oh, yeah. They just added... Ma That's right. They just added Machado in. Okay. So that means he's starting on an everyday basis now. Uh, no, I don't care about the waivers. Um, So that's going to do it for this episode. I think the next episode I'm going to do uh, for this is going to be a live commentary um, of this game right here. Chris Tillman and Matt Harvey. Uh, just because... I, th I like Matt Harvey as a pitcher, and I think some of you guys would want to see him pitch. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys later.